Okay, so I'm going to try to reread what I was reading before my storage um, was limited. Yeah, I ran out of storage. Okay, so where did I? Okay, just store it right here. Our experience is simulated. It exists only in a simulation. Only simulations can be conscious. Physical systems cannot be conscious because they are on a mechanical cells. They're only mechanical. Cells cannot be conscious. Neurons cannot be conscious. Brains cannot be conscious. People cannot be conscious if you understand them as a physical system. What can be conscious is the story of a system in the world where you write all these things into the story. You have experiences for the same reasons that a character novel has experiences because it's written into the story. And now the system is acting on that story. It is not a story that is written in a natural language. It is written in a perceptual language and this multimedia language of the game engine. And in there, you write in what kind of experience it have and what does this mean for the behavior of the system, for your behavior tendencies, for your focus, for your attention, for your experience. Where the actual causal structure is, looking externally in your own mind, you're looking at a simulation that explains what you're going to see next. The simulation is only generated by our own brains. And this simulation is different from the physical reality because the causal structure that is being produced. What you are seeing is different from the causal structure of physics. Behavior needs to work in such a way that it's interacting with our accurate predictive model of reality. If not, you'll be labeled as mental unstable and have to seek help. If your brain is unable to make your model of reality predictive, you will need help. Basically, you can do magic. You can change your assessment of reality, but eventually reality is going to come bite you in the ass if it's not predictive. Space is emergent over the activity of these things. So the coordinates only exist in relations to the other things. So you can put in some sense abstract, abstracted into location that locations that can hold information and trajectories that the information can take between the different locations. And this is how we construct our notion of space. The infinites that we are dealing with in our own universe are small integers, integers, integers. A trillion things behave similar to one trillion things because they're converging. They're converging. Mm -hmm. It's a machine learning model that is constantly tuned to minimize surprises. So it basically tries to predict as well as it can what we're going to perceive next. Oh, wow. The machine world is a dream world. Mm. This is giving me AI vibes, you know. That's why the mind, when you tell it, tap it into the spiritual world, you will see how your mind would be that open vessel or that, that attack that is always taking place within, you know, the frequency um, vibrations, you know, within the, whatever you're watching, everything has a frequency vibration. And if you don't know what the frequency is, it is programming you to act a certain way and to believe certain things because it's giving you ideas. Okay, the machine world is a dream world. The results, of, the results of the machine learning process of the perception system that's doing the compression. Compression. The output of your model is the things that you perceive yourself as doing, which is called human the self. Everything is happening inside of the dream. The feeling of realness that you experience get attached to certain representations where your brain assesses this is the best model of reality that I have, that it has. For something to be real, it needs to be implemented. You are only experiencing models of reality. There is a difference between reality and a simulation and a simulacra. The reality I'm referring is something that fully emerges over a causal a casual, closed, lowest layer. The reality I'm referring
honor is something that fully emerges over a casual clothes lowest layer. The idea of physical physical is that we are in that layer. That basically our world emerges over that Every alternative to physical is a simulation theory, which basically says that we are in some kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, simulation universe, and the real world needs to be an apparent universe of that. Once you align yourself with your values, with your actual thought process, with your excuse me, with your programs, the clearer things get and the better you can discern. Don't forget to be funny, the fun house. Just ride in your own high frequency bliss. You are within a dream, in your dream, inception. Properties of the game that you are playing. We are interacting with physics. The world that you are in is not the physical world. The world we are in is a dream world. However, the dynamics of the dream world matches the dynamics dynamics of the physical world to a certain degree of resolution. The causal structure of the dream world is different. There is nothing in the atmosphere. There's only projections that have tangents between other projections that are the results of electrons in the projection interacting with each other. It's a form of data compression. It's not an illusion. It's an attempt to deal with the dynamics of too many parts to count at the level at which we are entangled with the best model that you can find. The software that we live in, the dream that we live in, is generated by something outside of this world that we are in.